morning everybody, well, it's not morning, it's afternoon now, hope you are all well. So we're just uh, here on Pennygown campsite. Today, so that's why we're a bit late on the uh, time. We're having a bit of a chill day today, and then we're going to go and do some more wrecking tonight. Uh, we're going to go and do a bit of exploring on the island, I think. So, uh, watch this space because the scenery is spectacular. So, we're going to have a look at Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. for the weekend um, just down on Penny Gown campsite we did recce in last night till two o'clock in the morning <coughs> and then Katie um, managed to get all the legs finished now and uh, really really good recce session to be fair came home about two o'clock um, really really fast flowing stages probably said that before I do apologize to repeat myself in videos by the way I know I do because I'm looking back at the editing and uh, well, I do film over like, a few, number of days, so I do probably say the same things over again and everyone gets a bit annoyed with me, but it's raw footage, you know, it's just as, it's, as, it's, as it comes, so apologies for that. Um, but we, uh, we've got a little rattle on the recce car. Toran took a bit of a uh, hit over a jump. So I've got that to just quickly look at, just to make sure it's all right. I think it is, there's nothing to do with steering or brakes or anything like that, it's just something going do 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 I think it might be the exhaust off a hangar or something. So uh, I've just been over to the reception now. Um, Penny Gown, really nice and quiet, the scenery is unreal, I'll just spin, the, spin this round for you. So, right next to the sea, now the mountains and everything are just really nice. So across the road we've got, uh, across the road we've got some Highland cows. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, it's good. Um, so I just booked um, next year's accommodation. So you've got to be quick. Um, so I booked two glamping pods. 
So it should be, uh, we've got underfloor heating, we've got a really nice comfy bed, but it just means that I won't have to stay camping in the van for the week, um, which has been absolutely fine, do you know what I mean? It's, you know, I'm comfy as anything, slept amazing, got a nice little heater on here. I'm all happy, it's just, life's a bit easier um, to uh, just, you know, sleep in a little glamping pod, it looks quite cool, so I don't spend a lot of money on holidays or designer clothes or anything like that, so, you know, I spend a little bit more money when you come to Mull, which is going to be a nice trip every year, so definitely coming up next year, whether I get a run or not, hopefully I do get a run, put an entry in anyway, um, so yeah, that's quite something quite cool to look forward to isn't it I always like having things to look forward to you have to have things to look forward to in life I've always found anyway otherwise life's pretty dull in it so you know book a holiday book something exciting book a rally you know book trips away and just go and do it so uh, yeah we're uh, I was gonna have a quick look and see what's wrong with the tour run and uh, and go from there so just digging into this um, I think it's a drop link. So I've just taken this one off at the bottom here, um, but then if you look up here, it looks a bit loose to me. I don't think it's knackered because there's no play in the ball, I think it's just loose. So we'll give that a buzz up and see what happens. For next year. <laughs> For next year. Yeah, yeah. Now then, everybody. So in the afternoon now, we've got the car fixed. Bit of a drop link issue, got that sorted. Uh, we're just down here looking at uh, looking at the sites of the caravan site. Got a nice little uh, estuary out here. Seen, it's just unreal. Uh, so we've been up to Togmori to uh, pick up the uh, all the stickers and stuff for the car. You get your rally plates and all the rest of it. So we've got that all sorted. Um, but yeah, picked them up from Arras Hall and. Uh, then to put in the car. We'll scrutineering tomorrow, so it's Wednesday now. Tomorrow we will be doing scrutineering at 10.15 at the rugby club just down the road. So, uh, so yeah, no, it's all going to plan at the minute. So I'm happy. Just uh, just been speaking to Paul and Mark. Uh, hopefully they get a run. They are first reserve. So Katie's stopping with them up there. And uh, yeah, we're just we're going through scrutineering and all the uh, official ways that you have to do sound tests and all the rest of it. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, they get a run. Um, but they're still waiting yet. So, um, fingers crossed for them. But, uh, yeah, I'll just spin the camera around for you and show what I'm looking at. Another one now, so another go. I used to be good at it. No cheating. Right, go on. Oh, two! No. Two! Hang on, two! That'd be a bit late now. I can't 
remember how many that was, but. Oh, what? He opened his seat at the toes, please. Yeah. Morning, everybody. Next day. Early start. Um, nervous day today. Scoot nearly down. Half nine, uh, no, quarter past eight. Uh, quarter past ten is our time. So we are going to head down to the rugby club and get scrutineered. Fingers crossed. So we're uh, just getting ready to stick a Ronda up now with all the official number stickers and stuff that we've got to put on the car. So let's go and get her out of bed. have it just like that Rhonda's all numbered up car 102 thank you for Mr Phil for giving us a hand with that welcome no worries we've got numbers on the side as well and we've got numbers on the back Rhonda's purring away nicely and on the side here we've got the sponsorship ones and then we've also got the positive carbon offset for motorsport which we contributed towards so happy days right Rhonda is set for scrutineering we've even got a new sticker on the van over there as well So that's us, we've just passed scrutineering. Uh, we're just in the scrutineering park now. We've just done noise test and uh, yeah, all done, we're ready to go. Happy now, I ain't screwing her in. But uh, yeah, well, and, uh, So, just back at the campsite now. I'm going to head up to Todd Moray to unfill Jerry cans up with some fuel and pick some merch up and have a little wander. Come back, I'll do a spanner check on Ronda and then I will sort the van out for the uh, for servicing tomorrow. So. So, just got back from scrutineering and uh, just dropped Ronda off back at Penny Gown and we will be heading. We've got all the jerry cans in the back of the car right now. Heading up to tow, sort some fuel out and then uh, pick some merch up and uh, go from there. So, so far, so good. I feel a lot happier now that we've got through scrutineering. That's not always uh, a nervous one in the end. But yeah, nice dry weather at the moment. I don't know what I'm saying that. I'm looking up at the mountains here right now and it looks like it's raining up there on Hill Road, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. I did look at the weather forecast and it did say it was going to be dry, so it's in, so first leg is going to be dry, so nice just to settle the nerves rather than absolutely pouring down like it was the last time we came and did the rally 2019 coming over locked road to that stage and it was absolutely pouring down so happy to have some dry weather for this time sun's out today anyway but um, but yeah feeling all right need to do a spanner check on Ronda later on just to get peace of mind in it and all that jazz Make sure everything's all good to go, and then uh, I'll be sorting out the serviced van later on too. That's going to be sorted out. Big thank you to um, Paul said he's going to sort his um, service together, which is a massive help for me. Massive, really is a big help for me. That um, so I really appreciate that for Paul helping me out on that one. Paul and uh, Mark have got a run as well, so that's even better. <sighs> well, it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of build-up to get to where we are, so... We've, uh, it seems a bit unreal, surreal that we're 
scrutiny is all sorted. And off we go, ready for rally tomorrow. Let's go! Jerry cans all filled up. And then we'll come down here, 90 litres, 164. <laughs> So what we got? We've got a little kitchen area, we've got a tea, coffee, kettles, microwave, little fridge under there, plug sockets. Oh yeah. What's this? So that's the heating thing. I think it's got underfloor heating. Oh there's a heater there as well. Proper comfy bed. Oh, I'm winning at life at this. What's under there? So you've got all plates all catered for. Oh, happy days. Comfy sofa. I imagine this is a camp bed as well. So you could actually sleep floor in floor in one of them. Hey, it's alright, is this, isn't it? Where's the lights at? Where's the lights at? You found the light. <laughs> yeah, approved. Happy days. Glad we'll book one of these for next year. So either that one or that one or whichever. So all booked for next year. Happy days, happy with them. We've come to the Pentagon trailer park. Thursday night now, so I thought, you know what, I'll get this out of the way and I'll sort this now rather than Sunday after the rally at silly o'clock in the morning. But whilst I've got a little bit of time right now, I'll just fix it and then it's done in it. So, hopefully, the is going to the right place. I should have brought the van down really, but it's all plugged in and the electric and it's got the heating on and stuff, so. Be right though, new plug's got to be better than the old one, hasn't it? Let's crack on. So hopefully that's the trailer saga, put to bed, hey Kaz. So, new connector, all on, wired up. Steve is on the uh, on the lights for us, so let's spin. Inside indicator. So we've got indicator on that side, yep. Look at that, indicator on that side. And we've got brake lights underneath, let go. Yeah, <laughs> mega. Happy days, we've got side light on that side too. Side light on that side, jobs are good and right, so it was the plug all along then. Beer! <laughs> beer! <laughs> More beer for Steve. Happy days. Win. So guys, that is the end of Thursday. So, I had a, a 
pool day today. We've done the uh, scrutineering and just done a, a team tea in the motorhome. Thanks again for Mrs. Jill for cooking. I very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, the guys are all going to head off into the stages early tomorrow morning, so early Friday morning. They're going to uh, go and find a position to put all the campers and stuff like that. I think they're going up to, I'm not sure where they're going to be honest. Um, but they're, uh, yeah, they've, they've done a recce and have found a, a place. Quite a few, uh, there's not many places really on the stages to actually stop with motorhomes and campers. And when there is places, they fill up pretty quick. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're trying to get a place so they can stop for three days and watch all the stages and all at once. So, yeah, good luck to them guys. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I got scrutineering all sorted today. So that's uh, a big tick off the list and uh, we're all set. So... In the morning will be a spanner check on Ronda, just for my own peace of mind and make sure everything's bolted together. Uh, just check the fluids and, <coughs> and everything before the off. And then I have got the van to sort out. So I need to put all the spares and uh, wheels and trolley jack and everything that's in the chase car and stuff like that. That all needs to be in the van uh, because the guys are gonna take it down to service for me which is much appreciated thank you very much um, so I met Pete Goals tonight and Paul came round and put a little uh, tribute to uh, our navigator that's all I'm going to say on that one um, but yeah thanks very much for watching everybody um, it's been uh, I keep saying it, but it's been a long journey to get here, but it's a, a relaxing feeling now that we're all through scrutineering and literally ready for the off. So, going to be tricky on tyre choice. It's now said it's going to rain again on Friday. So tomorrow it's going to rain. Um, we will just have to wait and see. Um, because we have been on a little drive tonight just to suss out some spectator points for the guys. And... Um, it was raining at the campsite here, but it's dried the other side of the island. So, again, if we drive up to Tobermory and it's, you know, going over Calgary, could be bone dry. So, I don't want to put my wet tyres on if it's going to be dry, because it is a long rally. And I don't want to destroy them all before, like, set end of leg one or, you know, we got to get to leg three. So, it might be absolutely pouring down on... Saturday night and we won't have any dry, uh, wet tyres left or anything like that, so it's, yeah. Choose wisely, I think the words are, but uh, should be good. Looking forward to it anyway. Really fast stages, really quick stages, so even the new tarmac that, uh, that's that been laid down doesn't hold water, so it's, there's no puddled water or anything, so yeah, we'll leave that for tomorrow. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching again. Uh, we've seen a few subscribers have uh, come and said hello to Mr. Duns. Hello. Thanks for coming and staying, uh, saying hello today. And uh, there's a few people in uh, Tobemore who said hello and stuff as well. So, hello everybody again. Nice to uh, nice to meet you, some of you. And uh, we'll uh, we'll head to bed for now, and we'll try and get a good night's sleep. And then uh, tomorrow morning, like I say, we've got stuff to do. So. If you, uh, if you do want to support us, click the Andy Wild Rally and Facebook link. And uh, if you want some flapjack delivering straight to your door, it's the wildbakery.co.uk. Here's the advert. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go.